We begin the Ghana Month campaign right away and uh, let's continue with the headlines for tonight. Calm returns to Gakofe in the Volta region after irate residents blocked the main road to protest over perceived police inaction following alleged murder of businessman and assembly member. Now MPP commences vetting of parliamentary aspirants ahead of primaries. And health authorities at Vianasi Health Centre in the Eastern Region appeal to government to replace obsolete equipment. On international front, South Korea sick leader to face homicide probe over death. Details of these stories and more, including sports and entertainment, up next. Right, stay with us. And uh, we are also on channel 279 on DSTV. And residents of Sugakope in the South Tong district of the Vault region blocked the main road in Accra, to Accra in protest over the alleged murder of businessman and assembly member of Sugakope South, Mauto Ajali. Now, the group were outraged by the perceived lack of action from the police. Motorists were stranded at both ends of the Sugakope Bridge for more than four hours. Eight armed men reportedly broke into the residence of the assembly member at about 1 a.m. and shot him several times, leading to his death. His body has since been deposited at the South Tong District Hospital at Sugakope, where his wife, who also sustained injuries, has been admitted at the emergency care unit. Many residents thronged the deceased house after hearing the shocking news. After earlier massing up at the Sugakope police station, the residents blocked the road leading to the town's bridge to express their displeasure over recent robbery attacks and killings within the community. And as we've been telling you, irate residents of Sugakope in the South Tongu district of the Volta region have blocked the main road to Accra in protest over the alleged murder of businessman and assembly member of the Sugakope South, Mauto Ajali. The group were outraged by the perceived lack of action from the police. Motorists were stranded at both ends of the Sugakope Bridge for more than four hours. Eight armed men reportedly broke into the residence of the assembly member of, uh, of the assembly member at about 1 a.m. and shot him several times, leading to his death. His body has since been deposited at the South Tong District Hospital at Sugakope, where his wife, who also sustained injuries, has been admitted at the emergency care unit. Many residents launched the deceased house after hearing the shocking news. After earlier massing up at the Sugakope police station, the resident blocked the road leading to the town's bridge to express their displeasure over recent robbery attacks and killings within the community. Right, that's a shocking story from that part of the Volta region. Joining us now is our correspondent, Robert Abelba. And Robert, good evening and uh, thank you for joining us. Hello, Robert Abelba, can you hear me? Hello. Yes, uh, Robert, good evening. Good evening, Isa. Right, so at, at midday, we were told the scene at Sugakope was chaotic with roadblocks and uh, so on and so forth. What is the current situation? Oh, uh, currently, Kham has returned to the 
sugar copper township, and then business going on with without any skirmishes as we experienced this morning. But one other thing I want to share with viewers is when we visited the hospital to see how far the wife of the disease and daughter are responding, I mean, are faring. Uh, Hospital authorities made us to know that they are responding favorably, but it is so dangerous for them to allow people to know that they are within the area for fear of any other attack. That's what we are experiencing. So they did not even allow us to stay long in the hospital. That is what is going on. So, Robert, we understand the bridge was blocked. Has it opened to traffic now? not booming, moving freely in and out without any problem. There, there is calm as I speak with you. The only problem is that the police have since in the morning till now refused to speak with us. I did all we could for them to only tell us. Even when we left the police station and we were going to hospital, they followed us there. We thought they would uh, offer us uh, uh, just a second interview for us to hear their side of the story. They never even want to speak with us. They were still tight-lipped. All right, Robert, we, we know that uh, you have difficulty in getting the police to speak to you, but have you been able to visit the hospital to find out how the wife and the, who yeah, also got injured is doing? And, yes. And, and, and the, according to the health workers, the disease wife is responding to treatment. You know, during the the spread of this shooting, some of the pellets had hit the head of the woman's uh, daughter's head. He equally went on operation successfully and is responding to treatment as we speak. That's what is happening as of now. Do you think the police will be at the bridge tomorrow to make sure that there's no further disturbance or uh, uh, block traffic from flowing? That is exactly what we, we think they will do because they themselves are realizing that the people are not happy with them. So they will try to put their ass together and say that they correct the mistakes that they made in order not to allow this sort of inaction happen. All right. Thank you very much, Robert Abelba. That's our correspondent, the Volta region, Robert Abelba, and uh, who has been speaking to us about disturbances at the Sokakope area where one businessman who doubles as an assemblyman was shot and killed.